Hey everybody, it's Juanita back again from Cap Crafty Stitch Away. So today I'm going to be making the complete, it won't all be in this one video, but I'm going to start and I am going to make sure I have them all on there. The complete set for the baby cowgirl set. It consists of the skirt, the boots, the vest, and the hat. Super cute little outfit and quite easy too. So for this project, you are going to need a 2.5 millimeter hook, a three millimeter hook, and I'm doing the newborn size, so it's gonna be a four. If you wanna do it for a zero to three month size, I would suggest using a five millimeter hook. So for the yarns, I have this really thin little cotton. This is just to do the stars. That's why you're gonna need the 2.5. The stars on the outfit, it's just basically a little, a little um, two-ply yarn that I got from Hirschner's. And then what you're going to use is a medium worsted weight. I'm using the Craftsmart. Craftsmart yarn is so much different now than it was when they first came out. It's so much softer, nicer, and I just find it a great value yarn. So I've picked the colors. This color is called Dark Taupe if you're interested in doing the same colors. And I'm gonna use this one as my main color. And my second color that I'm using is called taupe. So taupe and dark taupe. So this one is gonna be my contrast color, the other one my main, and the pink is for my stars. And as per all uh, outfits or projects, you will need a tapestry needle and scissors. So with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and get started. And I think the first one that I'm going to do is going to be the, I don't want it to be the vest just yet. I think I'm going to make the hat. So you can make the hat with a totally different color if you'd like. Um, the contrast color or what have you. I Like I said, I'm doing everything in the dark taupe and the light taupe. But what I think I'm going to do is, for the hat itself, I'm going to use do the hat in my contrasting color. The rest I will all use my dark taupe for the, for the main part. So to start with, what we are going to do is we are going to do up a chain of two. Chain of two. We are good. You can do a magic circle if you prefer doing that. But we are going to do 10 half double crochets in the second chain from the hoop, or check second chain from the hook, or in your magic circle. So two, three, four, five, just sec as my cat. Five, chance, you always have to, he has to always be right where I'm at. Six, seven, seven, eight, eight, nine, oops, I got my tail there, ten, and we're going to slip stitch up into the top of your first stitch. Nanny's busy right now, buddy, okay? I'll play with you a little later, but you can't be up here. You're okay. Sorry about that. So that was row one. Now for row two, we are going to do two half double crochets in each stitch. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. And again, we're going to join up into that first stitch with a slip stitch, chain one. So that was row two, we had 20 stitches. This is row three. So for row three, we're gonna chain one, and the first stitch we're gonna do one half double crochet, and we're gonna do two in the next. And we're gonna repeat that all the way around. 
So one, and then two in this one, and then one, and then two in the next one. So complete that all the way around, and I'll see you once you finish this row. Okay, so once you've gotten that row done, and you've done one single crochet and two in the next, and you repeat that all the way around, that should give you a count of 30 stitches. And again, we're going to slip stitch into the top stitch there, chain one. So that was row three. Now for row four, we're going to do one half double crochet in the first stitch, and we're going to put one half double crochet in each of the next two stitches. So then we're going to again do two half double crochets, one half double crochet in the next two, two half double crochets, one half double crochet in the next two. And again, you will repeat that all the way around, and I'll see you at the end of this round. Okay, so again, that was row four. And at the end of the row four, you should have a count of 38 stitches. And it was one half double crochet in two, and then two half double crochet in the next. I had to put on my air conditioner, I just can't. Hopefully you can still hear me, but I just can't deal with it not being on. So you're gonna slip stitch into the top of that. You are gonna chain one. And for row five, we are gonna do one half double crochet in three stitches. Two, three, and two half double crochets in the next. So one half double crochet in three. I think that was three, yep. Two half double crochet in the next. So again, you're gonna do one half double crochet in three stitches, and then you're gonna do two half double crochets. And you're gonna do that all the way around to the, get, to the end again. And I will meet you back here after you finish that row. And we are back again with row five. So at the end of row five, it being a row of one half double crochet in three stitches and two in the, last, in the next one, that row should give you a count of 47 stitches and you're going to join with a slip stitch. Now, this yarn is kind of a thick, medium waisted yarn, so if you wanted to, you could stop at this size here. Um, I'm going to do mine, continue going, and do it a bit bigger. Um, but you can stop if you'd like to. So with the next row, we are going to do one half double crochet in the next four. And then we are going to do two double crochets in the next. One half double crochet in the next four. Two half double crochet in the next. And you get exactly where I'm going here. You're going to do the exact same thing you did to the previous last three rows. You're going to do one half double crochet in four stitches. And then the next stitch you're going to do two half double crochets. And you're going to repeat that all the way around to the end. And I'll meet you again at the end of that row. Okay, so I just finished that row and I joined to the top stitch there. So now for row seven, you should get a 56 on that row. So for row seven, what we're going to do is we're only going to use the back loops. Only. And we are going to half double crochet in five stitches. Two three, four, five. Then we're gonna half double crochet two together. So we we're gonna half double crochet in five. One, two, three, four, five, do two together. One, two, three, four, five, whoops, and two together. Was that five? One, two, three, four, yep. So a half double crochet, five, one, two, three, four, five, half double crochet, two together. One, two, three, four, 
five half double crochet two together one two three four five two together one two three four five and two together one two three four five and two together and join to that first stitch with a slip stitch so you can see that is going to be the top part of the hat don't worry that it's coming up because we're gonna when we're done the hat we're gonna bring that in some too okay so that is where we are right now on the hat and for rows eight that was row 12 or row seven so for rows eight to 13 all you're gonna do is half double crochet around the hat So rows 8 to 13, and if you made your hat, if you stopped before that, we did the increase where we did 1 in 4 and 2, then you would do rows 7 to 12. I mean, this, this here is probably more closer to a 3 month, but... It could still get away with a, a newborn size, but I'll show you because it takes up some once we do the end of it. But anyway, for the next um, next five rows, from rows 8 to 13, you just have to half double crochet around in each stitch, slip stitch at the end of each row, and I will see you back here when you get those done. Okay, so I had to go look some stuff up because it just wasn't making sense to me. I didn't finish this part yet. So the four needle will make you a size for the zero to three months. Using the five hook of this pattern will give you a size three to six month size. So if you wanted to do the newborn size, you most definitely can. I would just use a 3.5 hook and or use a four point hook and just not do that last row. Okay, so once you have up to row 13 done, this is basically what your hat should look like. Okay. So, now what we are going to do is we are going to half double crochet in the next five stitches. One, two, three, four, five. And we are going to half double crochet two together. One, two, three, four, five. Two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. Keeps moving away from me. I'm sorry. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And there's nothing to. Not two stitches there, so I'm just gonna half double crochet in that last stitch, slip stitch to the top, and chain one. So that's just bringing it in some, basically, because it does stretch. You don't want to bag or loose on the baby's head. So for this next row, that was row 14. For the next row, which is row 15, we are going to half double crochet in the next five stitches. One, two, three, four, five, and we are going to do two half double crochets in the next 
One, two, three, four, five, and two. And do that all the way around until you get to the other side. So one half double crochet and five stitches, and then two in the next, and repeat around. And I'll see you once you finish that row. Okay, so we are done with that row, which is row 15. And we are going to join with a slip stitch. And for row 16, we are going to half double crochet in two. One half double crochet, one half double crochet, and then two in the next stitch. So one half double crochet, one half double crochet, two in the next stitch. One, two, and two. One, two, and two. One, two, and two. So continue that all the way around and I'll see you at the end of that row. Okay, so I'm done with that other, that last increase row there of row 16. So for row 17 and 18, all you're going to do is half double crochet around in each stitch, join at the end of each row. And I'll see you after you have row 18 and 19 done. Just complete half double crochet around. Okay, so we're done with that row. I have to tighten this. There we go. And now for the next row, we're going to first join with a slip stitch. And we are going to slip stitch around the complete hat. So just put one slip stitch in each stitch. And again, I will meet you back here once you have this row done. Okay, so we did that row. So now what we're going to do is we are going to start adding our frill. Our, so we're going to just for the hat, this is, we got our colors, the ba the lighter one as the main and the darker one as the contrast. So once we have that done, what we're going to do is we are going to do one half double crochet in each stitch around. Whoop, did I not even go to the end there? Nope, I didn't. Wow. I'm just going to have to scoot over there because I messed up. And I'm just going to join that in there. Don't know how I missed that. I had to run and grab my phone because my work phone was ringing. So I'm just going to do it this way. That's all. And I'm going to do one half double crochet. And all you have to do is just go down into the center of your slip stitches to join that half double crochet. Now if you don't want your frill as big and as I guess actually the frill on this isn't too bad it's the frill on the rest of the outfit but anyway just keep going around and do one half double crochet and you can see I'm going right into the center of that slip stitch to do it so just keep going around I messed that one up I have to make sure I do these right because there's a girl that buys my outfits I give them to her at a pretty good price, and then she sells them herself on her own, on, a, I don't know, a site that she has. So just continue doing that, just half double crocheting in between your slip stitches, in between the, not in between, but in between your actual slip stitch itself. You can see those two ridges. You're going to go right in between there to do your half double crochet. And I uh, will see you at the end of this row. Okay, so we did that half double crochet row. So this one is going to be the last row of the hat. So basically all you're going to do is you're going to chain three. So that's one, two, three. You're going to skip the first stitch and you are going to, whoops, ow single crochet into the next stitch. So you're going to chain three, skip one, single crochet, chain three, skip one, single crochet, chain three, skip one, 
single crochet. And you're going to do that all the way around and I will meet you back here once again at the end of that row. Okay, so I went ahead and joined at the end of my row, fastened off. So what we're going to do now is just weave in all our ends. Get those all taken care of. Little snuggle. This one. Is that it or get no oh, I have one more down here in the center. So I'm also take care of that one here now too. Cut all these off. Okay. Now we're going to form the hat and stuff. So what we're going to do is first we are going to turn the hat this way. And you're going to kind of, it's kind of hard to do it that way. You're going to, let me see here. What you're going to do is you're going to put your hat so it's like that. Wait, I don't have no stick pins here right now, but normally what I would do is I would stick two stick pins here to it in place I'm gonna put some of the tan color yarn that light lighter of the two and I'm just gonna do this up top but you can do this on the inside of it too on the wrong side of your work but just so like you can see what I'm doing here so basically you're going to make sure that you have it lined up right you're just gonna Normally I would do this on the other side, don't forget. I'm just going to snag that in there a bit. That's it. Maybe two, maybe two, uh, two little pieces I did. Let's just give the hat a little bit of definition, I guess, the best way to put it. And I'm sorry, I keep bringing this right up to my face, which takes it away from the camera so I'm just going to go like that and I'll do one more little piece that's about it just please make sure you do yours on the other side on the inside because it is definitely not supposed to be done on this side okay See, so yeah, it should have been on the other side, but you get my drift. So what you're going to do now is you can, what I do is I, this you can do on this side. I just do one little stitch in there just to hold your side in place. Then this side. See, so it's I'm trying to get it so you can see the actual hat. So I would and then one little stitch. I'm gonna leave that through. And there we are. I mean, it's a cute little hat. But like I said, the definition isn't too bad on this right now, but I would definitely suggest undoing it from the inside. And now we are going to make the little, I need my 2.5, the little star to put on the front of it. So for the star, you're basically just going to one, two, three. Let's do three. You're going to single crochet three. And you were going to put five single crochets in that little circle that you just created from joining. Single or chain three and join. So one, two, 
three, 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 four, and five. And I can make sure I'm joining in the right place. Join back to the beginning and do a count of three, or chain three. In the second stitch, you're going to do a single crochet, and in the next chain, you're gonna do a half double crochet. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna slip stitch right into that next stitch. Do three chains. Second chain from the hook, you're gonna do a single crochet. And that last chain from the hook, you're gonna do a half double crochet. You're gonna slip stitch into the next stitch. Do three. You're going to single crochet and half double crochet. If you want your star to be bigger, all you have to do is use a bigger hook or do a half double and a double, although it won't be as closed, I don't find, or as neat. Or you can just use a regular size yarn. It'll make your, your star bigger also. And that's four. I usually only go with five. One, two, three. Single crochet. Half double crochet. I'm going to single crochet. Whoops. Slip stitch <coughs> back into the beginning. I'm going to leave an end on it to sew on. Or you can glue it on if you'd prefer. Completely up to you. Which I may glue on. Because these are rough to, to sew on because they're so tiny. And even with the glue, you can still, you can still uh, wash your oath, you wash your, whatever garment you have, even though you use the glue, you can still hand wash your outfits. And you just leave them out to dry. So I'm going to go like that. I usually use a hot iron gun. But... I don't have it plugged in right now, so what I'm going to do is use this craft group. And make sure that the side that you, the front that you're putting it on is not the part that shows all your ends and your rows where you joined. So make sure it is in the front. I'm so mad that I did that in the front. I'll take that out later and do that on the proper side. It's just for sake of the video though. So I'm gonna try it with this glue. If it doesn't work, I'll be making a new hat over for uh, this order. And you just kind of put that in the front. And unlike my glue gun, that probably needs way more time to, to take effect. And I mean, look how cute that is. It is a cute little cowboy hat. And that is the cowboy hat for the, the girls. The Country Girls Cowboy Set. I don't know if you can see that all that good. And there it is. Okay. So I will be doing also, like I said, the skirt. The skirt um, vest and the booties as well. And I'm hoping to have those up today. But if not, they will definitely be up tomorrow. But anyway, it was fun. Again, if you like this and you want to continue to see more of my videos, please do subscribe. And a thumbs up, a like would be greatly appreciated. It helps my channel. doesn't cost a thing. Um, and with that being said, enjoy the rest of your Sunday. Have a great day, everybody. Take care. Bye.